42 minutes. And that's pretty alright. Okay. Now I already be shuffled. So. I've been getting little flashbacks of dreams and everything else that I've been having. And a lot of them that um, are a few months old, you know, they've been popping back up in my memory, you know. Um, there was this one where I was looking out the eyes of a pigeon and being on a windowsill. The windowsill was by a, a train, okay? Um, busy city streets, and it's just like, um, it was a specific female that this bird was always eyeing. So I'm always seeing the same chick, you know, out of this bird's eye. Okay, bird's eye view. Somebody could have a bird's eye view of a specific female. Somebody could be watching somebody from like a bird's eye view. Um, that's how I've been looking at that recently. And then, you know, seeing all the birds and everything else that are in my path whenever I go somewhere. You know, and then that comes back up. It's just like, You know, it, it fits, you know. So, be careful with your surroundings. Because it feels like, you know, it's like I said before. How do you think, you know, things are seen and heard from the above? Okay? How do you think everything gets back to source? Okay? There are eyes everywhere there are ears everywhere and it's in every living thing that is surrounding us everything lives okay um this is one thing people you know they underestimate everything around them they really do you are never ever alone you're never by yourself you know So, there was also another dream. Now, I know this one is from me. And I remember, you know, back in 2016, 2015, when I first started looking for um, places for myself to move to. And then I ended up getting hurt and staying in my situation. Um, thought that everything was getting better, but look at me this evening. <laughs> Okay, looks can be deceiving. Um, but yeah, so, um, mm, they're not good. Anyway, all I know is, um, I was guided to move out of PA, okay? I was guided to leave Philly, okay? And it was like this really harsh rush to it. And then the more I pushed for it, the slower it was to get out of there. And then I finally just decided to calm my nerves and let it go. And not too long afterwards, it was no more wasted money, trips, gas, or anything else. The place was found. And it was the place that I seen in my dream that popped up. I remember having the dream of the house that was off of a rural road. Okay, not a street, but just an actual road. And this is the same, you know, type of house that I seen when I was sleeping and seen it. So, you know, just like I seen, you know, things that um, they didn't have anything to do with me, but I do, I am able to travel when I am in another state of mind. And... 
I have been in other places and have seen other things. Like I remember um, popping up at the, I didn't realize it until after, you know, I started looking through the book on the countertop, how it was like the information and the raise, like a promotion was coming in and I seen it and I basically knew that something was happening for my friends and everything else. I seen it and I just kept my mouth shut in order not to cause a actual shift and everything because certain things when you actually speak on them, they may not come out. See, just like that, when you speak on it, it doesn't come out. I spoke on it and the shuffle messed up. Anyway, so 609. Something um oh yeah. But also that other dream that uh had me, you know, really on the move. Um I also felt my, I felt a shift towards where I was like, it feels like we're moving. It feels like, it feels like, you know, it feels like we're moving. This was like two, three years ago. I'm like, why does it feel like I'm moving? Like, it feels like, you know, getting ready to move. Like, it's a moving day. Like, what the hell? And then, that was like two to three years ago. And then I remember 20... 2016 or 17 is when I had the dream it was just before we moved that um the cops were helping me okay and so I was being picked up to be transported somewhere else safe and then something happened in the midst of the transport and I was shot okay in the back of the cop car and I remember traveling in spirit form and I seen and saw my body as it was losing life in the back of the cup car and I seen this happen and it was a fire a gunfire that broke out between the cops and some people. It was a neighborhood. But we were in like a garage. Something was happening. It was like a... A, a deal or something. A deal? A deal. It was, it was a Philadelphia. So, I don't know, but it feels like if I had stayed there, something would have happened, or of course, you know, it would have been a situation. Who knows? I don't understand how or why, but hey, the dream's a dream. You just got to interpret it and whatever you see, right? So, I really don't get it other than, you know, seeing a fire of some sorts, gunfire or a fire. Like, a fire could be a fire or a fire could be a gunfire. Um, and death. Somebody is having trouble... With the seven of wands in reverse. Okay, this is um this is somebody has fallen. They're defeated in something. Or they feel defeated in something. Okay. And on top of the deck you got the nine of swords. Okay, but they're in reverse. Maybe this is why they're feeling defeated. Somebody's not stuck in their head. Somebody failed. 
at quarantine. Maybe. Clarify the seven of wands, please. What's going on with the seven of wands? What's going on with this situation? But yeah, basically just uh, be careful with your surroundings because you never know. Like I said, you know, walking through the park a few months ago and everything else, you know, it wasn't even on a planned, you know, day that I normally would go out. And, you know, the bird that was on top of the river in the shadows, the alarm that was sounding off, me getting turned around three times before actually being able to find my way out. And I'm wondering how am I ending up in the, in the same spot over and over again. And then having my truck be the only one in the parking lot besides this freaking vehicle, this other car, this red car. And I'm like, out of all the years, okay, that I've come here and know that there's nobody else that's ever, ever in that parking lot after a certain hour. And I'm like coming out and you know, something was like covering the light because my light on my phone is kind of bright. So I like dimmed it down and just clenched it to my chest. And you couldn't see me. But um, you know, headlights broke when window was a little cracked down a little bit. You could see just a little bit of the face and stuff. But then as soon as I started up my truck and closed the thing, why are you turning off your lights now? You think I didn't see you? I don't understand that. But that's the weird shit that I just don't understand. And I find really fishy. You know. We have the emperor in reverse. Okay. An emperor is in reverse. This could be a narcissist. Childish energy. Yeah, this emperor has been going back and forth between the past and the present. Either physically or mentally. But um, something has him in this uh, very harsh, you know, state of mind. Because he's in the reverse. So he's not a friendly emperor. This is a cold-hearted individual. Very calculated. And this, look at his eyes, okay? Look at this shit. This motherfucker, he's planning something right here, man. He's planning something. What's going on with this emperor in reverse? I don't have any music because the weather is acting funny, so there's no internet connection right now for my other device that I normally get my sounds from, so it just sucks. It's like that this shit was done purposely because everything was working earlier, and then about an hour ago, that's when we decided to cut out Hermit and Burn Reverse is plotting something with the Hermit card in the upright, okay? He's either plotting something, okay, and he's away from people doing this, or he is plotting on a hermit, a person that stays alone, okay? It could be either or, take it however it resonates with you, okay? This emperor... There's a Knight of Swords energy. Stuck. Stuck in a Knight of Swords energy. Stuck in very quick movement. Fast movement. But is very wavery. Okay? Not really having a foothold on um, what's going on in the situation. Because you're moving before you think. We have the Nine of Swords in the uh, upright. Okay, so this Emperor. This Emperor is in the Nine of Swords in the upright. This Emperor is um, being tormented. They're stuck in their head about something. They're probably having headaches, sleepless nights, emotional state. 
equilibrium lost with the nine of swords okay um with the five of cups stuck in the five of cups losing continuously stuck losing that's what i'm seeing okay this emperor this is why he's in the reverse okay what did this emperor lose why is this emperor losing what's going on with this emperor and their situation can you tell me please clarify the emperor situation and just the five of cups representing for this emperor you know people beat themselves up over a lot of things that wasn't meant to come out i threw that by accident people beat themselves up in a lot of things and it's sad you know you're not really supposed to beat yourself up you're supposed to learn lessons people are too hard on themselves and then some people aren't hard enough because they don't want to learn shit so they just end up repeating the same things over and over again it's very sad it's very sad to see you know nobody's fucking perfect but you gotta get out of your fucking head and you have to be the person that souls created you as you know you are a representation of creation and when you lie to yourself you lie to not only you but source you know the way you are created there's nothing to play around with and people are so you know, trying to be like everybody else, and you have a bunch of clones walking around here, because nobody wants to be themselves, they want to take on somebody else's form, stop losing out, Clarifying the Five of Cups and why the Emperor is stuck in this energy is because of a Knight of Pentacles. Um, not moving forward in endovers, you know. Never moving forward. Never moving slowly. You know, you'll watch from a distance. You have messages. You have offerings. But you take your sweet time, you know, you sit back, you are like the last one to the party when you were like, you know, you could have been hosting the damn thing and you're the last one and fucking there. Like, this is that type of energy, okay? This is, oh yeah, I know there's a party at the house, but I want to be over here, you know, so I'm going to fuck around over here instead. And then next thing you know, what happened? What do you mean what happened? You weren't here. Okay. Yeah. So we got the nine of cups energy. This ember is just stuck. You move too fast without thinking. You stay losing shit. <laughs> You stay moving slow. You stay, you know, tormented by the things that you do. And now you're stuck in the nine of cups. Okay? And when things are sideways, it's like you are, you know, stuck in that energy. Because it's you're playing both sides of it without ever choosing. Yeah. You're playing both sides of these cards. From the good to the bad. The positive and negative aspects of the card. You're playing both sides of them without ever choosing one. So instead of making a choice, you always stay stuck in this energy. So this nine of cups, you know, you are feasting. You are honest and fulfillment in all that you do. But at the same time, you lose out on everything that you collect. And you're dishonest at the same time. This is like putting on a front, putting on an act. Basically, um, like I said this, when you get tricked by people, okay, their mask, you know, everything falls off eventually, okay? 
and you see people for who they always are or truly are and it's like you'll get little glimpses here and there and then it's just like you know you'll get gaslit you know like oh no you know just joking or playing around or you take things seriously and all this other shit so then you know you go around just like whatever and then you'll forget about it and then the same shit will happen again and you don't realize it see this is why i started recording shit i learned this when i was married i had to start recording shit and i had to start playing that shit back because i'm like look motherfucker i know i'm not tripping so i'll sit here and i remember like who doesn't like a drink here and there right i stopped fucking drinking okay just so this dude had nothing to sit here and say oh yeah you drink this and you do this and you do that and you're always like this and you're always in your head you can't hold shit against me because i'm not doing shit motherfucker the reason my bottle is going because you drunk it i brought it and decided not to touch it but it's empty and i haven't had one drink and this shit happened when i was married before and you know i stopped drinking with this one too so i'm like oh uh, no i'm good i'm not doing anything that is relaxing me that's you know putting me in you know some sort of like that could actually have the potential of putting me in an altered state because it's too much fuckery going on around me and i'd rather be safe than sorry like i said i sat here and suffered through all my pain through all this shit that hurts like fuck i will sit here and suffer through it and not take one fucking thing to help me ease the goddamn pain why because there's fuckery going on so i don't like being fucked with i am not one to be messed with you fuck with me and like i tell everybody you want to sit here and try to play me for a fool people don't like me because when they sit here and try to fuck around with me i'm gonna tell about their whole entire shit without giving a flying fuck about it i don't give a shit because i tell them myself i always have since i was a child i don't give a shit because i don't do shit and when i do do shit i own up to it what did i say um when i'm right no one remembers when i'm wrong no one forgets i know that's for somebody else out there too so this dude is like if you can be honest and put on a mask of honesty, what is, what's so hard about keeping it that way and actually being that way? That's what I don't understand. If you can fake being a good guy or a good girl, okay, instead of having the trouble of faking that, why don't you actually become that person that you're so-called are? But it's just a tactic to get somebody's, you know, undivided attention and trust and everything else. I don't understand that. You know? Like, I know when to be genuine with people. My body it seems to know and understand it. It's just a lot of times, you know, in the past, I would sit here and go against my intuition because I always had this whole thing of everybody's good because I know everybody has the capability of being their better self. But it took me years to realize not everybody wants to be their better self. Not everybody wants to be in that light. And I never understood why. Because, <laughs> seriously, even the most... <laughs> I know I'm not perfect. I call myself a fucked up individual here and there, you know? But I can look at somebody and I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you've been through, you know? I love to hear your story. I love to hear your feelings. I never judged anybody. I always seen them for 
what I see in them, you know? And so, they proved me wrong. I've been proven wrong so many times, so many people. But, it's a learning experience. Everybody always thinks, certain people anyway, oh, you always gotta be right about everything. No, I just want somebody to prove me wrong for once. Like, seriously. Because when I sit here and actually follow my intuition and I call shit out, it comes out. But let me go against it and, you know, sit here and try to act like what's going on isn't. Prove me wrong. And then it happens. And I'm like, should have just followed it. I shouldn't have tried to go against my intuition. Because, see, it's not what I'm seeing within people. It's not what you see in people. This energy is always praying. It's what people see in themselves. The way you look at them. I never realized it until recently. The way you look at people is how you view yourself. I remember when I used to be harsh on judgment on myself. That little nasty energy that I would put on myself would come out towards people. When I was younger. And then I remember as I decided to start changing over times in the course of years, you know, and just basically, you know, like I said, sometimes you just gotta say shit to get people off your fucking ass. You have to act like, oh yeah, uh-huh, <laughs> and just not mean it. Source knows, just your heart, your heart knows. You can, oh yeah. Just to get somebody to shut up <laughs> and not mean to shit. Your heart knows where it lies. You know? Just don't lie to yourself. You know what you truly mean. And that's for anybody out there, you know, that needs to hear that. I remember I was at work one day and I was waiting to uh, clean up. This was years ago at the post office. And, um, you know, just as I got my shit and I thought I was going to be able to close off an area real quick and jump in there before somebody else got in there, some dude ran into the bathroom. And I'm like, fuck. And I'm just like, I sat down for a while and I wasn't paying attention. So, when I went to the doorway, just to see if they were still in there or not, I seen their legs just like, like they were, like, it looked like they were in a relaxed state, just sitting down in the first stall. And the emotion that came over me was like, an overthinker. Exhaust enough something, having enough of something, wondering, just lost in, in his head. But I felt such a soft energy. Very kind individual. I didn't see their face, but I know their energy. Wondering what they were doing. Craziness. 
secrets are coming out about something. I've been getting this moon card for a while. Secrets. Secrets, secrets, secrets. Praying. <laughs> Praying secrets don't come out. Praying for something. Praying to keep something secret. Okay. Maybe it's just this honesty. Okay, we got some moon we got some stuck energy. This emperor is stuck in their head. They are unable to move forward in a situation. Okay. Or they're feeling like they're not gonna be able to move forward within a six within a situation with the six of wands. What's going on with this emperor energy? Okay. This emperor is really on some other shit right now. What the fuck? Anything else before I pick up that card? Keep on getting judgment. This emperor, Knight of Wands in reverse, is coming in, burning, fiery, fiery wand. This emperor could have a fiery wand, okay, with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Like, I'm paying attention to the fire that's on his back and their head. And then they're holding the wand, you know, thrusting forward with the horse, you know, trying to charge. Oh. Knight of Wands in reverse. And then along with the death card. And the upright. Yeah, that's the secret. There's the Emperor in reverse. Either with a fiery wand, that's what they're probably trying to put on. They're trying to keep this secret. We have a nine of pentacles energy at the very top. The fuck? Okay, the secrets are coming out. This emperor was juggling a situation or a few situations with the two of pentacles in reverse. Okay. We have the four of pentacles in reverse. Lagging. Holding on. Tightly. Holding on tightly to all their pentacles, but it's in reverse. They're not able to hold on to their shit anymore. Whatever they're holding on to, they're losing. Whatever they turn their back to, they need. Okay? Karma. Will of Fortune is over, is, is on top of this two of pentacles okay it's in the upright now everything splits because we have a high priestess that's on the very top of this karmic wheel okay that high priestess belongs to that nine of pentacles okay but see somebody's trying to keep them stuck in that energy because it's sideways it's not upright and it's not reverse um they're probably trying to i don't know what they're probably trying to do 
but when somebody when it comes out sideways it's either you know you're stuck or you're stuck shit yeah you're stuck or you're willingly being like this one or the other but this high priestess is in the outright so either this high priestess is trying to stay in um no no that's not right at all that's not right at all because it would have been in the upright just being single maybe she doesn't want to be in a relationship this high priestess energy that's up here okay uh, she's trying to stay in the nine of pentacles energy Clarify the higher pieces and the nine of wands that's stuck in the nine of wands. We have the two of wands that came out over this. Oh, I didn't recognize this. This two of wands is stuck, is in a sideways position over the death card. Okay, somebody did not man did not want this to happen, but it was manifested. But the tower is in reverse. They don't want a tower moment to happen. That's why they're trying to keep um, this energy stuck in the Nine of Pentacles. You know, not moving forward. And just not knowing what to do, I guess, in the situation. Okay. Um, the first one that I did see before anything was a chariot. And that's in reverse. Okay. So something's not moving forward in this situation or this whole situation is not moving forward okay something is it's just not moving okay it's in the reverse we have the five of wands that's in the reverse conflict amongst each other you know it backfired onto a group of people that's why the cherry is in reverse okay and we have a page of pentacles in the reverse. Negative message. Okay, yeah. Okay, so whatever or whoever is working with this emperor over here, this group of people, um, they were trying to get something going forward. They were trying to cause something. They were trying to move forward into something, but everything's backfiring onto these people. We have the cherry in reverse along with the five of wands and the page of pentacles over a message that was given. Now everybody's in conflict with each other that wanted conflict for somebody else. Okay, we have the world in reverse. Backfire. Justice is in the upright. Somebody was not bl um, blinded to a situation. Okay. Um... And it was diagonal. And diagonal. And it was right on this three of cups. Okay. Affairs and third party situations. Okay. This could be, you know, family, friends, or affairs. Okay. That could have came between um, this higher priestess. Okay. And the emperor that's in the reverse. 
these two energies and whoever else was involved here because like I said there was juggling with the two of pentacles that was out in the reverse and there's third party situations family friends and affairs okay and somebody wasn't blinded to this but they closed their own eyes and act like they didn't see we have the blindfold here but you have your swords up which means you see but you don't talk you act accordingly Ace of Wands, somebody was very lustful in this situation. All they thought about was sex. All they did was do or try to do people. And now they got now they're carrying a burden that they can't get rid of. They can't put it down. We have a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Star card in reverse. This Queen of Pentacles could be an air sign. Okay. This could have been the one that um, possibly passed off something. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the uh, Queen of Pentacles. That's a lot of earth. That's a lot of earth. There's some water in the background. Queen of Pentacles in reverse doesn't like um, was trying to come against somebody, an empress. Could have had something against somebody else that was um, close by, friend, family member. Anything else for this situation? 